Canoa was part of the generation of films that changed Mexican cinema. It demonstrates Felipe's absolutely masterful technical and artistic handling of the material. To talk about a Mexico that was impossible to imagine in film before. He was trying to coalesce the anxiety and the resentment and the brutality that Mexico had experienced in 68, in the massacre of Tlatelolco, and the brutality of the state. But he was making a movie funded by the state, so he needed to find an oblique way to approach it. Redacción. The almost documentary-like construction, the inexorable construction of the drama, how he starts laying the pieces that are going to end up in a tragedy, in an absolute brutal tragedy, the way he lays them out in an almost uh, Hoxian, logical way was something we haven't seen in cinema ever before. And the fact that he could uh, create brutal antagonist with a figure that was uh, sacred in Mexican film before, which is a priest. The screenplay is one of the most brilliant screenplays ever written. Si usted gusta, de ahorita no porque ya vamos a trabajar, pero más adelante los puedo llevar a la Malinzi. People were talking the way you talk every day. They were not mannered, formal, a sort of golden age of cinema dialogues. They were truly almost documentary-like, but they were very precisely scripted and planned by Casals. Yo le quiero decir claro. Y como amigo de su confianza, de su persona, en este pueblo va a salir algo de chingadera. It is, I think, one of the ten most important Mexican films of the second half of the 20th century. Te lo dije, pendejo. Well, it's a truly brave, brutal, precise piece of filmmaking.